guys so we have just got to Maidstone again we have decided to come and have a look at the market um, after pulling up it doesn't look like there's a lot here um, but it gets us out of the house for a little while I'm so bored of being stuck indoors um, it's just same old same old every day so we're just gonna get Lee's chair out and everything and and go for a wonder. So we've just got into Maidstone Market. Um, Lee's having a browse. Lee does love a good market, don't you, babe? Oh, he's had that much. He's only been for so long. But he does like, he does, he's well known for buying rubbish. Um, especially when it comes to tools and stuff. Um, but he doesn't need any more tools or anything. Because he doesn't use the ones he's got. It's quite cold over here, isn't it, it was nice and warm the other day. So yeah, we're just having a look around. Um, well, don't you find anything interesting? There isn't much here. Most of the stalls are empty. Lee's over there. In his chair. Just having a look. And you babe. Just over there having a look. over here um, just some curtains an old telephone a game and a heater <laughs> so he spotted the tool boxes and I said no he has enough tools to probably you know what? start up a workshop. Do you know, this is where well, I used to do when I used to be into my vinyl. Oh, look at this. Like records, I'd come yeah. over and I'd see a box of vinyl in there and I'd just look at the box and I'd say, right, how much vinyl box? So it gives a 10 hours, right, done. And I'd, I'd say, fine. Look, 48 piece Italian cutlery set. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Paid £35 for it, but. I'm really tiny. They're, they're, they're what you call teaspoons. So, an Italian cutlery set, um, very nice, but it would probably disappear in our house. What would disappear? Italian cutlery set. Oh yeah, I'm mad it's probably worth about a million pounds. It would still go missing if you throw it in the garden and send it out to me. Yeah. Have they got? I don't have any, um, no sense of worth. No. I've got like odd um, stools with towels and books and what, whatnot. Oh, and they've got them occupa things. I don't know what this is. I just lost it. it used to be massive, hole didn't it? Under here. it used to be yeah, they're holding it under here. I remember coming here once before. Um, yeah. I used to come here um, before, and this whole car park used to be the market. I don't know if that's due to Covid or what, I'm not sure. But we've come to the aisle there from we like, all the, what the kids like. Masks, 50p, sheets. 15p. Wash basin. Bubbles. Pretty. Princess glass. Actually, quite pretty. pretty. Don't know what they are. But yeah, just the usual stuff you find at the market. What is that? Barbecue cleaner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it was. Uh, we've got a solar steak light. Oh, 
Oh, do you know my Mickey Mouse tablet glass? Oh, yeah. It's broken. What do you mean it's broken? So now I've got a dishwasher yesterday to do some tablets. Yeah. And it had a massive V like V shaped crack in it. Oh, you're kidding. No. It's where, it's where they just like bang the stuff in the dishwasher. Yeah. They don't take no care at all. Oh, it's a wind-up. Yeah, it's a wind-up. Yeah, it's a wind-up. Oh, God. Trainer laces. Oh, gold. Yeah. What? They're old. Trainer laces. Flashing laces in your trainers. Trainer laces, light up trainer laces. Oh, here we go, here's one. Light trainer laces. Really light up at night. Gets us out for a little while. Okay, guys, so we haven't found a great deal. Um, I managed to pick up some books for Kalia. Um, they were Diary of a Wimpy Kid um, and they were 50p each. So I got four, wow. four different ones. So Kalia will be happy with them. Um, and I think Madison, obviously, I'd like them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, at least you're sticking through these. That's a nice one. I like the, the, the car one. I like the bank now. I, I like the banks one. Where that one I, like. I don't know. Where's the nowhere to put it? That's a problem. Some of these are really nice. They're like, uh, I've got money, but they're just, where would we put it? So, yeah, not really a great deal here. Yeah. DVDs which we don't really buy anymore because everything's on Netflix and YouTube. CDs because everything's digital in the in the van and everything. That's the thing, that's why CDs are going out of fashion, isn't they? Because digital like DAB and you know um, even it's I think it's very hard to come across a car with an aux lead now isn't it? Yeah. Not my stereo hasn't got an aux lead it's yours. Uh, yours hasn't. No, mine's got a USB. Your uh, Lee's and his fan is a USB connection that plugs into the phone so it's not an aux lead it's just like a lightning cable and then plugs into USB so aux lead CDs they're all going out of fashion um, Unfortunately, digital's taking over. And that's why you've got to be careful what you buy, because um, what you buy is whether you've got something to use it on. We did, get, <laughs> we did get speaking to a lovely two ladies over there. Um, they have cakes um, and where I got the books from. And they knit um, baby cardigans, which are very hard to come by. So we took a card of theirs and hopefully, I think it's called Sheila's Crafts at Mason Market. So definitely check them out. Oh, I've tried things like that before, I could never do it. Um, but yeah, we're just walking around the middle part now because we're on the outside, so now we're just walking around the middle part. Um, and then I don't know what we're doing after that. Well, I'm just waiting for Lee to come around. He's over there, obviously, looking at um, junk, as I call it. He doesn't call it junk, I do. Um, but um, he is bad for he is bad for buying rubbish at markets and boot fairs. Um. Fortunately, I've had to kind of tell him to stop because he will just go and buy a load of rubbish. But he has got a lot better, ain't you, babe? You have got a lot better at buying rubbish. Yeah. 
see this box, I don't know what it is. It's like a record box, isn't it? So I'm looking at something like the drone. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Yeah. That doll thing in need. Said, Dolly's in need of attention. Who is it? It's him having a lot of creeping, like <laughs> heads and stuff. Oh. I'd rather get your proper case for your drone. I know, but I want to. But. Yeah, so well, that's it. Roof bars. They look a bit high. They don't look like roof bars. All oh, right, is that what they're for? That's it. That's the market done. There's not a great deal here today. Um, apparently, according to one of the market stall owners, obviously Saturday is a lot better. toilets over there so I don't think there's anything else and if there is I'll be back. okay guys so we've decided to take a walk down is this a river huh? this is a river yeah. um, down by the river um, in Maidstone but this is the river Medway I don't know nothing so I'm not gonna question it You've been on it, have you? Oh, he's been on it, so. Um, obviously, I'll show you when we get a bit bit more of a clearer view. Okay. There you go. Um, how cool would it be, guys, to live over there? How cool would it be to live there and have the river right at the end of your garden? Also, you don't have to have fence. You couldn't complain about having a swimming pool, could you? No, I'm not. <laughs> Even though I, you would, I don't think you could swim in there, no. could you? Um, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't know, I think people do. So. I wouldn't recommend it, but yeah, it's pretty down here. I've never been down here before, have we? But yeah, like, imagine living like there. I don't know if you can see. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do any filming until I get up to the bridge. So we'll come back in a minute when we get up further and you can see a lot more. Okay, guys, so. As Louise had said, that was originally someone said, said, said we were in Maidstone. Um, this is the other side of Maidstone. This is the bit that a lot of people don't actually realise is here because it's actually tucked away. Um, I think this is relatively new as well. Um, ice, oh look, there's an ice alert. So it tells you if it's icy. Table tennis, table tennis table, table sir. We are now on top of the bridge. So we're just walking off this bridge. Kenzie's gonna run ahead. Go on. <laughs> this is I didn't even know this was here guys. Clock Tower, Clark County. Oh, I didn't know that was a reindeer. Eh? That's that tree. Oh, yeah. So it is. So yeah, there's the uh, river. There's a river there. Now I've lived in Kent a long, long time. 
a long time since I was probably Madison's age Madison's 16 and I'm now 38 ish I'm not sure I can't actually remember my age so we've got the river here I'm just going to tighten this on my wrist because I'll end up dropping my camera in the river medway and we've got Houses over there, and then over this side, we've got a um, the boats and everything down there. Oh, is that what it is? I wonder what that was. Yeah, I think it does still run. I didn't know there was a water bus. Huh? I didn't know there was a water bus. Yeah, you actually take, you know, take you along the river. Oh, the river. cool. That might be something we could do with the kids in the summer. But I'm not sure whereabouts it goes, though. From over there? It goes from there, but I'm not sure where it goes Probably by. Like, like West Morley and okay. like that. That would be cool for one day to just yeah. trip out. Yeah, no. cool. So, yeah, obviously, I wouldn't like to swim in there, but I'd definitely like to live. I would definitely like to live. The bells are going off on the church. Pick the right time there. Yeah. Church over there. Wow. Oh god, you scared the life out of me, Ken. He's come along on his heelies, but because this is quite like weird texture ground. It actually makes like a rumbling noise and it, it's actually like really, um, it actually scared the life out of me. Um, yeah, you think it's funny, don't you? Not sure if that's a, a day boat or whether that's their own boat or not. Uh, there you go. So this is what, it's, this is so nice. This is how we do things. Hiya. So yeah, this is this is what my, this is what it's all about. This this is what it's that's the reception you get from people on the boats. Love it, absolutely love it. Oh, it's on higher. So okay, what's this? There's something weird over here. So. Yeah, so there you go. So we'll have a look. I don't know what that is. That is something extremely odd. Um, I'll run along. I'll say, anyone got any idea what that is? Because I'm sure, sure as hell I don't. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah. Another part of the garden. It's all around me. Right over here. This is really cool. I've done it with little stones. Yeah, cool. I I was trying to see if it was so a higher boat so or a uh, yeah. So that's, 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 I just say hi I'm not sure where to, where it was. We'd we'll have to look it up. That's maybe something else we can look into doing. Yeah. Oh, Ken's careful, you right? <laughs> Ken's just fell did, over. Did he fall over? Ha <laughs> ha! Right, quick, let's get him. <laughs> For some Millennium <laughs> Amphitheatre. So that would be like the seating, and this would be the stage. So where's the amps? Huh? Is this where you stand? This is where you stand here, don't you? You come out, you think you're really famous. Good evening, Angel! <laughs> but Kenzie was just putting on his own show, weren't you? Yeah. 
He does try and get silly on his heelys and he does sometimes make big mistakes. You know what? I didn't even know this was there. No, I didn't. <laughs> There's loads of it. It goes up there and all. Yeah, I think people can sit up there and then they just put on shows and stuff. Might be, maybe in the summer months or something. Maybe they put on... It says on the board up there. Maybe little bands or something. Did you know, all over Maidstone, they have funky looking elephants, all different colours. Yeah, is it one of the volunteers James give it to him? Because he's always at the hospice. It's about to do the hospice, isn't it? Ah. Uh, Okay guys, so unfortunately we've come to an end. Um, that there you used to be open. You used to be able to walk right the way through there to get to the um, ferry. Um, but you can't anymore unfortunately, it's blocked off. But look at the look at these walls that and that's just lovely. You don't see a lot of places built like this anymore. No. <gasps> Climbing wall! Yeah. What? Don't see places built like this anymore. No. Climbing wall. I didn't know any of this was here. I was at the end of it, I didn't know any of it was here. I know it was a, I'm, well, I'm annoyed though. I'm, I'm annoyed they blocked it off. That's, I think that's fairly new. What, the bridge? Yeah, I think that bridge is actually fairly new. I don't it's think £70 it's £70 the... for a two-hour cruise. Oh, we could have gone up there, but I can't get my chair up there. No, you're not, I'm not lifting it. <laughs> oh, go on. No. Right, so... It looks like the only option we've got is to go back the way we come, across the wall. Yeah. <laughs> and try and find something to get in. Next objective, food. <laughs> Actually, not, Kenzie's not come up with a bad idea there. Yeah, food. So, yeah, we think it's time for dinner, guys. Lunch. Well, you know what, not dinner, lunch time. Breakfast, lunch, brunch. So we'll have a look in the lock meadow, see what's in there. Because the only thing oh. I've had to eat so far is my bowl of malted Wheaties this morning. I've had I'm now feeling rather peckish. Yeah, nothing. So guys, see onion rings onion that. Yeah. So we've come here. It's called fe feathers, is it? Yeah. Feathers. feathers uh, pub, uh, flame grilled pub. Um, we've been here a couple of times before, but obviously not for a long, long time, have we? Haven't been here for a long time. So I think I'm gonna at least going for the hunter's Actually, chicken skillet. Any of the COVID stuff. Yeah, it was. It was way before oh, that. Yeah. And Kenzie's having a kids' meal. And I'll let you know what we get. And you specifically put them in front of me. So, our starters will turn up. We've got an onion ring stacker mm -hmm. that we tried once before, didn't we? When we, came we did. Yes. And then I've got these uh, Louisiana chicken strips with barbecue sauce. Uh, I don't know if you can see better. We've got barbecue sauce. I'm not sure what that is. So sour cream, uh, I think it's mayo. Sweet chilli. I think the other one's mayo or something like that. Like, I'd have mayo with onion rings, would you? Right? Mayo? Lee's going to try it because obviously oh, not. So we got... An onion okay. ring. <laughs> it's got sour cream. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure. But that, that's definitely the texture barbecue. Um, so it comes with this as well. So we are going to eat that and then enjoy. So Kenzie's food's turned up. He's got garlic bread, the chicken nuggets, yeah. chicken nuggets and beans, and I've got some waffle fries. So what fries? Waffle fries with oh. hunters like with bacon and that, Ooh. bacon cheese and barbecue sauce. But he's feeling a bit tired, aren't you, babe? Mm. So hopefully so he'll get his food soon, and hopefully. Too much pressure. <laughs> but get his food soon, that'll wake him up a bit, I think. Yeah. But I'll show you ours when it turns up. We're getting our Hunter's chicken skillet. It's still sizzling when it comes to the table. <gasps> so, guys, my main's just turned up, and as you can see, it's still sizzling. 
biscuits. One piece. Both gone for the same, haven't you? Yep. Yours are still sizzling well, isn't it? Hmm? Yeah, mine's um, mine's on fire. <laughs> so we're gonna be good guys and we'll be back after. So Kenzie's finished his obviously I couldn't show you our plates because she came and take, took them. Obviously I was just about to record and she came and took the plates. Um, but I didn't eat my chips and my peas, I never tend to. You ate most of yours, didn't you? Uh, you didn't eat your peas, uh, did you? Didn't eat peas. So chicken and the chips. They both went down <laughs> quite nicely. <laughs> and now you're tired, aren't you? Need some fresh air. Tired. Yeah. So we are gonna head back to the van, which is out in the car park. Um, that's actually a long stay car park, I'll watch you worried. You can stay more than five hours. Um, yeah, it's been alright today. A bit miserable, isn't it? A bit of a, yeah, went along the river, but we're definitely gonna be coming back, so watch out guys for there'll be more videos obviously coming from here, maybe some boat cruises and stuff like that. So just going to be looking at the things to do for the summer. Um, we've got Kenzie here on his um, Nintendo Switch playing Minecraft. Minecraft. And we're heading Ooh. homeward bound. <laughs> so we've just come out. The weather hasn't improved much. Um, the van's over there. Um, I bet you're glad for the fresh air, aren't you, babe? Oh, yeah. Um, bye bye. <laughs> Are you going to show everyone what you did to your hair? What? Are you going to show everyone what you did to your hair? Um. <laughs> Guys, Lee got hot, so he um, cut his hair again. <laughs> and it was actually quite funny. Are you going to show him? <sighs> okay, ready? Are you ready guys? In three, two, two one. one. <laughs> Baldy basics. There you go. He actually shaved Dad, it with a razor. There you go guys. There. But he's got <laughs> a white head because he's got a suntan face. <laughs> so, but he, he don't like leaving his hat off, do you? No. But he got too hot. But he's, do you know your hair's actually growing back already? I know. Uh, right, we're going to get to the van because it's actually raining. Okay, so we managed to get back to the van before we got absolute drenched. But now it's stopped again, hasn't it? Yeah. It was like the heavens opened and we got soaked. Not too bad. I think Lee got the soak, more soaked, didn't you? Yeah, well, I was worried. Because you just I gave me the keys, didn't you? You're just yeah, going I had to stop. I wanted to put my jacket on. So it's now stopped as you can see. But that's where we was guys, Lock Meadow. I don't know what that means. Lock Meadow Maidstone. Lock Meadow Maidstone. Um, and it's finally stopped raining. So we're just heading back now. Thankfully we didn't get too wet. But traffic looks pretty Bad, actually. So we'll decide we'll run picking at Cader up from school. We're just gonna go up in the up in the van. I'm not sure. We'll, so see, I suppose, we'll we catch up with you once on. we get near it nearer the time. Right guys, so we've now arrived at Cadia J school. We decided to come straight here uh, from Maidstone. Uh, we've got Lee in the back there. Hi guys. <laughs> just chilling? Yeah. Um, he's feeling a little bit tired, so he's just chilling in the back there. And I'm sitting in the driver's seat. I can drive this, by the way, as you've seen before. Um, but it scares the life out of me because it's so massive. Um, but yeah, so we're just, Kenzie's out there skating on the path. But he's off his iPad, so I suppose that's a bonus. And I'm just sitting here watching TikTok. So I'll be back once Kadia's out of school. Okay, guys, so 
Um, I've just picked Kader up from school. It's really, really windy here, as you can tell by my windswept hair. But she's just had to run back in and get her PE hoodie because she left it at school yesterday. And I said to her, have you got it today? And she said, no, I forgot it. It's on my chair. Can I go get it? I said, yeah, go on then. Make sure you keep to the paths. So we're just waiting for her to come back out. And Lee's had a little snooze. You feeling a bit better? A little bit. A little bit. A headache. Got a headache. Um, and if he wants a dice here, I'll probably drive. But it's like really hard to get out of here sometimes. Because uh, people don't know how to keep to their own side of the road, do they? Um, so it's really 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 windy and I mean really windy I don't know if you can see the trees blowing but unfortunately obviously um, her school because it's in such is it because it's in such open ground yeah because it's in such open ground surrounded it, by fields surrounded by fields it literally cops the wind um really bad the rain really bad and when it snows it gets hit really really hard um because it's kind of like out in the sticks so we're just waiting for her to come back out with a jumper and then we'll be heading home and then obviously before we know it Sienna will be home and madison will be home and it'll be bedtime okay guys so we are now indoors we did get Katie. We did wait for Katie, by the way. Yeah. Come on. No, there she is, guys. No, we left her. Mm -hmm. What did you go back in to get? My jumper. Your jumper. Because you left ran, it behind. I ran, I ran on the path, into the gate, in the classroom, and then back, back. Do you want to show your books? I bought her some new books today um, because I don't know if I've mentioned it before. She was, I think last week, I think it was, or the week before, she was promoted to a three reader at school. Now, bearing in mind, she's only seven. Um, she was premature and she's done amazing with her reading since she started school. So we went to the market today, as you know, and they had some like books for sale and they were 50p each so i bought her these books um and she's really happy about them because she said that she likes reading these books so, oh, no. so i got the books books of the diary of a wim wimpy kid and i got the long haul yeah uh, i've got old school yeah And I got the third well. Well. Whatever. And, and the last one is hard luck. And all of those books, guys, cost me two pounds. Bargain. Fifty p each. Um, I think they were all the diary wimpy of Di diary of a wimpy kid ones, weren't they? I don't think there was any other no. um books there of that. Because... But sweet bargain so you can get you can, you can get some good deals at markets but there wasn't a great deal there so um we're just waiting for the others to come home okay guys so we're a little bit later on into the evening obviously i didn't um vlog when sienna and madison got home but they are home and madison's up in her room watching tv and i believe sienna's in her room katie and kenzie have gone to bed um, Lee wasn't feeling great earlier, so he went to bed for a little while, didn't you? Yeah. But he's yeah. up now. Feeling a little bit better, aren't you? Feeling uh, a little bit better. A little bit, yeah. I think that kind of this weather, this weather's not very good, is it? Helping you. So I've been down here most most of the time on my own because kids have been upstairs doing their own thing. Um, my knees are playing up from because of my arthritis and that's purely I'd imagine down to the weather um, because today down in Kent it's just been sunny then wet and damp then sunny then wet and damp and it just can't seem to make up its mind this is what it's been like for the last few days so that's probably what's caused the pain in my legs so I've just took some painkillers and hopefully that'll help ease the pain it won't take it away completely but 
I've kind of got used to that now. So that's it. For, that's all for today, guys. So thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and share our videos. And also to check out our new Instagram page, LNL, L, LL Cricket Creations on Instagram. See you later, guys. Bye. Thank you.